welcome back. As always, it is your friend, your confidant, your buddy, your pal, your partner in crime, your comrade, your mate, Arachnid Soul, coming to you today with something a little bit different. I'm highly medicated, and before we talk about that, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up, please like the video, and subscribe. If you've not, for more great content, I would highly appreciate it. I did a podcast a couple of weeks ago. I talked about my sobriety. I talked about how I haven't had alcohol in six years, not because I had a problem with it, just because I didn't like it. But I've had cannabis almost every single day until I ran out and I've started having it again. I think I went 17 days without it. So I think that's what this is about. What was it like when a guy who had cannabis for basically most of the days for six years, I mean, let's face it, completely stopped. The major change that I noticed was that in life you do one thing, then there's a gap, then you do something else, and there's a gap, then you do something else. These gaps became extremely boring. Downtime became a thing that was just annoying to me, and actually that's one of the reasons I started posting so many videos. Cannabis can inspire you, but also cannabis taking away can make you really bored to the point where you've got to fill your time with something. And I said, all right, let me do some graphic design work. Let me do a lot of the stuff that I do with the cannabis, but for completely different reasons. The other thing is I had completely forgotten. It had completely slipped my mind that I had horrible insomnia before I started cannabis. So all of a sudden I went from a guy who was able to get maybe seven, eight hours of sleep a night to there was weeks that went by. Your boy was only getting three, maybe four if I was lucky hours of sleep. And night after night, that just made me grumpy. It just made me lethargic in the daytime. All of a sudden I was taking naps. Completely changed my life just by not sleeping anymore. Also, sometimes I just watch random things on Netflix or HBO Max. And I went back and watched some things that I'd watched previously. And I just sat there, I'm like, this is pretty bad. That sativa, that indica was doing some heavy lifting when I was watching some of this stuff. I'm not going to name any names. Maybe I'll come back and I'll talk to you about some movies that are great on cannabis that are pretty mediocre without it. Certain documentary featuring Mr. Rogers was one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen on cannabis. And without it... It was still good. I'll tell you what it was. Won't you be my neighbor? I still think you should watch it. It's very charming. It's very heartwarming. But when you watch it on cannabis, you're going to cry. It's going to be life changing. You're going to feel a, a shift in the universe. Things are going to blossom in your soul. All of those cliches. And also putting up with some people became a lot more difficult without the cannabis. The only way you can really appreciate everything that cannabis is doing for you is to take a break from it. I can also tell you that going to the gym and working out without having any cannabis in my system, it's kind of painful. I kind of understand why people don't do that. I kind of understand why people don't want to work abs now. But people are asking me, what were the big changes? What did I notice when I got off the cannabis? Those were the biggies. 17 days, didn't have any. Your boy's semi back on the wagon, even though I don't have a lot of cannabis. I have no flour. Well, I have some flour, but as we talked about in the previous video, that special flour, I'm saving that. I'm not going to have it. It's put away. It's in a glass jar in a dark place. We don't even talk about it. We don't even think about it. So I don't even count that as a thing. I was going through a drawer about a half hour ago and did find an edible wrapped up a little gummy candy and I said to myself why have I not had this edible and then I looked at the package and I saw there's only one in there and it's 10 milligrams and I'm like oh this is why because when I get something that's 10 milligrams I'm like this isn't for me this is something that I'll give to somebody else and it'll, it'll almost kill somebody else for me it'll be nothing it's just like popping in a Jolly Rancher but let's get the hell out of here it has been your boy, your mate, your confidant, your comrade, your partner in crime, your buddy, your pal, your friend, Arachnid Soul. Once again, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment down below. 
I want to know, are you more of an indica person? Are you more of a flower person? Have you taken a break from cannabis before? Would you like to have cannabis, but you can't because of some job or school or something like that? Your boy's curious. Do me a favor on the way out. Do at least one of those things. And I will catch you, my friend. Thanks for watching. Later.